Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says A farmer mixes two brands P and Q of cattle feed. Brand P costing Rs. 250 per bag contains 3 units of nutritional element A, 2.5 units of element B and 2 units of element C. Brand Q costing Rs. 200 per bag contains 1.5 units of nutritional element A, 11.25 units of element B and 3 units of element C. The minimum requirements of nutrients A, B and C are 18 units, 45 units and 24 units respectively. Determine the number of bags of each brand which should be mixed in order to produce a mixture having a minimum cost per bag. What is the minimum cost of the mixture per bag? So let's start the solution. Let X and Y be the number of bags of brand P and brand Q in the mixture respectively. So, obviously, x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. Now, according to the question, a farmer mixes two brands, P and Q. Brand P contains three units of nutritional element A and brand Q contains 1.5 units of nutritional element A and the minimum requirement of nutrient A is 18 units. So, according to the question, three x plus one point five y greater than or equal to eighteen. Now, this is a constraint on nutritional element A. That is 2x plus y greater than or equal to 12. Again, Brand P contains 2.5 units of nutritional element P and brand Q contains 11.25 units of nutritional element B and the minimum requirement of the nutrient B is 45 units. So again we have Two point five X plus eleven point two five Y greater than or equal to forty five. Now this is a constraint on nutritional element B. That is x plus 4.5y greater than or equal to 18 or this can be written as 2x plus 9y greater than or equal to 36. Now again according to the question brand B contains 
टू यूनिट्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशनल एलिमेंट सी एंड वैंक्यू कंटेन्स थ्री यूनिट्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशनल एलिमेंट सी एंड द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ न्यूट्रिय सी इज ट्वेंटी फोर यूनिट्स सो नाउ वी हैव टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस इज अ कंस्टेंट ऑन न्यूट्रिशनल एलिमेंट See now again we are given the cost of each bag of bran p, which is rupees two fifty, and the cost of each bag of bran q, which is rupees two hundred. Now according to the given problem. we have total cost in rupees is equal to 250x plus 205 let z is equal to 250x plus 205 hence the mathematical formulation of the given problem is minimize z is equal to 250x plus 200y subject to the constraints Plus y greater than equal to twelve two x plus nine y greater than equal to thirty six two x plus three y greater than equal to twenty four x greater than equal to zero and y greater than equal to zero. Now z is equal to 250x plus 200y is our objective function. Let us take this as number one. Now we have to minimize z subject to these given constraints. Let us number these constraints as two, three, four, and five. Now we will draw the graph. and find the feasible region subject to these given constraints now the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality 2x plus y greater than equal to 12 is 2x plus y is equal to 12 so we will first draw the line representing the equation 2x plus y is equal to 12 clearly the points 0 12 and 6 0 lie on the line 2x plus y is equal to 12 so the graph of this line can be drawn by plotting points 0 12 and 6 0 and then joining them let us take a as a point 0 12 and b as a point Six zero. So, AB represents the equation of the line two x plus y 
is equal to 12. Now this line divides the plane into two half planes. We will consider the half plane which will satisfy 2. So the half plane which does not contain the origin will satisfy 2. So we will consider that half plane only. Now again the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality 2x plus 9y greater than or equal to 36 is 2x plus 9y is equal to 36. Now clearly the points 0, 4 and 18, 0 lie on the line 2x plus 9y is equal to 36. So we will draw the line representing the equation 2x plus 9y is equal to 36 on the same graph by plotting the points 0, 4 and 18, 0 and then joining them. Now let us take C as a point 0, 4 and D as a point 18, 0. So CD represents the equation of the line 2x plus 9y is equal to 36. Now CD divides a plane into two half planes. We will consider the half plane which will satisfy 3. So we will consider the half plane which does not contain the origin. In a similar way we will represent 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to 24 graphically by drawing the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 24. Now, the points which satisfy this equation are 0, 8 and 12, 0. So, again we will plot these points on the same graph and then we will join them. Now, let us take E as the point 0, 8 and F as the point 12, 0. So, EF represents the equation of the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 24. Now, again, this line divides the plane into two half planes. So, we will consider the half plane which will satisfy 4. So, clearly, the half plane which does not contain the origin will satisfy 4. So we will consider that only. Again, x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. Now, the lines AB, CG and EF intersect each other at three points, let us take this as L, this as M and this as N. So clearly the coordinates of L are 3, 6 and the coordinates of M are 9 by 2, 3. And the coordinates of N are 9, 2. Now here the yellow shaded portion in this graph is the feasible region satisfying all the given constraints. Now clearly the feasible region is unbounded with corner points on one side as A. L, N, and T. 
so here the feasible region is unbounded with coordinates of the corner points as a 0 l 3 6 n with coordinates 9 2 and d with coordinates 18 0 now according to the corner point method minimum value of z will occur at any of these corner points so we will evaluate z at each corner point now at the point A with coordinate 0, 12, Z is equal to 250 into 0 plus 200 into 12, which is equal to 0 plus 2400. And that is equal to 2400. Now, at the point L, whose coordinates are 3, 6, Z is equal to 250 into 3 plus 200 into 6, which is equal to 750 plus 1200. And that is equal to 1950. Now, at the point N, whose coordinates are 9, 2, Z is equal to 250 into 9 plus 200 into 2, which is equal to 2250 plus 400, and that is equal to 2650. Now, at the point D, whose coordinates are 18, 0, Z is equal to 250 into 18 plus 200 into 0, which is equal to 4500 plus 0, and that is equal to 4500. Hence, minimum value of Z is equal to 1950 which occurs when X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 6. But here the feasible region is unbounded. So, 1950 may or may not be the minimum value of Z. So, to decide this issue, we will graph the inequality. Two fifty X plus two hundred Y less than one thousand nine hundred fifty to check whether the resulting open half plane has points in common with feasible region or not. If it has common points, then one thousand nine hundred fifty will not be the minimum value of Z. Otherwise, 1950 will be the minimum value of Z. Now, here, the green shaded region in this graph, excluding the line 
250x plus 200y is equal to 1950 or 5x plus 4y is equal to 39 represents the open half plane 5x plus 4y less than 39 or z less than 1950 now clearly it has no point common with the feasible region hence z is not less than 1950 in the feasible region except at 36 hence three bags of brand p and six bags of brand Q should be mixed in order to produce a mixture having a minimum cost per pair that is rupees 1950 so the answer for this question is three bags of brand P and six packs of brand Q minimum cost of the mixture is rupees 1950 so this completes our session i hope the solution is clear to you bye and have a nice day